Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Ninja and today I am here with second video of LWC scenario series. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. In previous scenario, we have implemented client side sorting in lightning data table and in today's scenario, we are going to work on server side sorting. So guys, first let's understand the difference between client side sorting and server side sorting. So in client sorting, data is fetched from the server and sorting of that data is done using JavaScript. You should go with client-side sorting when you have limited set of records. Now, on the other hand, in server-side sorting, sorting is done in Apex. See, in server-side sorting, when a user initiates a sort action, then LWC component sends field name and direction of sorting to Apex. Guys, if you have large number of records, then you should always go with server-side sorting. I think you got my point. It's time to code, so let's go to VS Code. Let's create our component. Let's name it server sorting CMP. Guys, as I already told you that in server side sorting, sorting is done in Apex. We just need to pass two parameters, field name and sort direction from our component. So let's create our Apex class also. Let's name it server sorting controller. Let's create our method, public, static. We will use opportunity object to show records in lightning data table. Therefore, return type will be list of opportunity. List of opportunity. Fetch data sorted. Or we can say fetch sorted data. And in this method, we will pass two parameters. First parameter is the field by which the record will be sorted like name field or amount field. So let's pass it string sorted by. And second parameter is to specify the direction of sorting either ascending or descending. So let's pass second parameter also sorted direction. Now what we will do, we will create a dynamic SQL query in which we will use order by clause for sorting. Basically, the order by close is used to sort the query results in a specific order based on fields. Let's see how. First, we will create a dynamic query string like this. String query. Select ID, comma name, comma amount, from opportunity, where amount is not equals to null. Then we will apply a check that if these parameters are not null, like this. If copy this parameter name, paste it here, not equals to null, and copy this parameter name, paste it here, not equals to null. And if these parameters are not null, then we will add sorting part in this dynamic query variable. So copy this variable name, paste it here. order by guys if you read the documentation then you can see that if you are using order by close in SQL then you have to provide field name after order by close which is present in this parameter so let's copy this parameter paste it here after that you have to provide the direction of sorting I mean ascending or descending which we have in this parameter so copy this parameter name and paste it here So we have our dynamic query variable ready. Now we will return the result using database.query method. Basically, database.query method is used to execute a dynamically constructed SQL query that we have created here. Guys, it allows you to create and execute query at runtime based on conditions or inputs that are not known until the application is running. So let's use it to execute our query like this. Return database.query and here provide the variable name save it and deploy it to org okay it is successfully deployed so we have our controller class ready which will do the sorting now we will import it in our component but before that we have to make this class available for lightning component using at the rate or enabled annotation like this or enabled Save it and deploy it again. 
and here in our component let's import it import fetch sorted data from at the rate salesforce apex copy this class name paste it here dot copy this method name paste it here now our next step is to create lighting data table in which we will show the records coming from this apex class so let's create lightning data table in html file like this lightning data table and in this lightning data table we need to provide some attributes in a similar way that we did in previous video so first attribute is key field basically this key field attribute helps the data table to uniquely identify each row of data it's like giving each row a special name or label so we will provide id in this attribute as a unique identifier let's write id here after that we have data attribute so data attribute is like a box where you put all the information you want to show in the data table basically data attribute is where you store all the information like name id and other details you want to display in your table so let's write data here and in this attribute we will pass a variable let's create a variable in our js code and paste it here after this we have column attribute which is used to define the structure of your table like which column you want to show in lightning data table and what information goes in each column so for this attribute we will create an array of objects for each column like this columns here each column has a label label is the heading of column so let's give a label label will be id we also need to provide the field name to specify that which data to be displayed in that particular column let's give field name also field name will be id we also need to specify the type type will be text and to make this column available for sorting we have a boolean property called sortable so what we will do we will set its value to true sortable will be true so this is the first column similarly let's create columns for name and amount field like this copy this line paste it here label will be name field name copy this line again label will be amount amount and type will be number create a variable here and in this variable we will put this array of objects paste it here and pass this variable to this column attribute after column attribute we need to use sorted by so it's like a label that tells the table which column is currently sorted for example if you click on name column to sort the names name will be stored in this attribute and for this we will create a new variable and we will pass it here after that we have sorted direction attribute which is used to specify whether the table is sorted in ascending order or descending order we will also create a variable for this sorted direction copy this variable name paste it here and at last there is one thing left which is on sort basically it is used to specify a js function that is called when the user clicks on column header to sort the data so we will create a function handle sort like this and this function will be called when the user sort the data for any column copy this function name and pass it here So till here we have implemented all attributes and functions which will be used for sorting.
but in this scenario sorting is being done in apex class therefore our next step is to use the apex class method in js code to get the data and also for sorting now we will use wire decorator to use apex method in our component so let's first import wire decorator here guys if you are using wire decorator for apex method then you have to use cacheable equals to true here equals to true save it and deploy it now guys see here we have two parameters in this method sorted by and sorted direction so we need to pass values which you have in these variables but there is another important thing that we need to update values of these variables whenever user clicks on any column to sort the data and as i already explained that this function will be called when user clicks on any column for sorting so we will update these values here first we will store field name of the column that the user clicked on from the field name property of event detail object like this this dot sorted by event dot detail dot field name let's add a comment also then in this variable we will store sort direction from the sort direction property of event dot detail object so copy its name paste it here event dot detail dot sorted direction now we have the updated values now let's pass these values in parameters of our apex method like this at the rate wire fetch sorted data copy this parameter name paste it here and in this parameter we will pass this variable Copy the second parameter name, paste it here, and here we will pass this parameter. Y data. Guys, this is a wired function in which we have parameters error and data. So this error parameter contains any errors that occurred while fetching the data and this data parameter contains the fetch record. Now here we will apply two checks. First to see that if data is present, I mean data is coming correctly like this. If data and if this condition will get true, then we will simply assign the coming data to this variable like this. Store data equals to data and second check for error. Else if error. Now if there is some error in data retrieval, then we will assign that error message to an error variable. So let's create an error variable, copy this variable name, paste it here and pass the error parameter. Now guys see, we also need to provide some default values to these variables because if we will not provide default values, then at first data will not be loaded. Why? because our sorting functionality in apex is based on values of these parameters so to load the records at first in lighting data table we need to provide some initial values like this for field name we will provide name and for direction we will provide ascending save it and deploy it to work we have our code ready it's time to see it in action so let's go to developer console here we have created a lightning application. Now put our component here. What's the name? Server sorting CMP. Save it and let's preview it. Let's check for amount. See it is not working. Let's use console.log to check that whether we are getting values here or not. Save it and deploy it again. Let's refresh it. Okay. 
Okay, we are not getting sorted direction. That's this. That will it again. I refresh this page. Click on name. So as you can see that our sorting functionality is working fine. Now guys, let's also see what will happen if we will not provide any values to these variables. Let's remove values, save it and deploy it again. Refresh this page. So as you can see that at first our data is not loaded, but our data will come if we will click on these columns of sorting. Why? Because when we will click on any of these columns, then these variables will have the values. Ultimately, these parameters will get values and our sorting is based on values of these parameters. So let's test it. Click on this column. So as you can see, the data has come. That's it for today, guys. And I'll be back with more interesting LWC scenarios. Thank you and keep watching.